Hello and welcome to this lesson where I'm going to show you how to add a social sharing plugin. And what this plugin will let you do is show you some, some icons on your blog posts. And then when your visitors are reading your blog posts, they can click the icons and share the blog posts on their social media accounts. So let's get started. Come over to plugins and add new. And then search for social warfare and it's this plugin here it's called wolf it's by warfare plugins it's called wordpress social sharing plugin so install now and activate and then you'll see that you've got this new uh, option down here, social warfare, click on that and then I'm just going to go through each of the settings with you. So the first option is the social networks itself so these are the active ones and then this the inactive one, there's this one at the bottom called mix which I don't actually know what that is but I typically leave the uh, Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest so and I don't have the uh, LinkedIn, it's completely up to you which ones you have though, maybe you just want Facebook and Twitter and you can reorder them and then we're going to come down to share counts and what this does is it shows the the counts how many times someone has um, or people have shared your blog posts so you can have the button counts on or off and that will show the count for each social network um, or you can have total counts on or off as well. So um, personally, I have the button counts off. So that there's there's only total counts that it shows. It just adds them all together and shows the total counts. So I put that there. And then decimal places um, is just zero. How many decimal places you want it to be. And then the separator of the decimal point. Is just a period or a comma, and the alignment. I just keep that as the right, and the right it shows is basically asking where do you want the share counts to display, and I just select it to be displayed on the right, and then the position of the share buttons. Um, this is asking you whereabouts do you want the share buttons to be placed on your website. So. Um, do you want them on the home page? And I tend to turn that one off, so I just turn it on to none. And then you've got archives and categories. I also put that on none as well. Um, and then posts. You want to post, you want to ha have it on both above or below, um, or just below or just above the content. So it's up to you which one you choose. If you turn it off and you have it on none, you can just select you can just select the floating buttons. And what that does is it'll put the buttons on the side of the blog post and they just float and they'll hover them or hover on the page as the person's scrolling down the page. So I, I'll leave that on and then I can show you what that looks like. And then I'll show you what it looks like for the both above and below. And then the page as well. It's just gonna, I'm gonna turn that off and then I'll leave it on with the floating buttons. And, and then you've got styles tab. Uh, the styles tab is basically just showing you a preview of what you've set um, what you've set it at. And if you press save, and then the floating share buttons. Um, if you'd like to activate floating share buttons, turn this on. So we do that, and then float position. Where would you like? Where would you like the the floating buttons to be displayed? And I always choose the the left side. So you can put it on the left side, or you have it on the bottom of the page if you like. And what this does is lets you select a transition, so fade in and out, or slide in. 
and it's saying do you want it to float before the content and if you say no then it won't show until you start scrolling down um, and then the next tab along is a social identity and you need to fill these out for each of the social networks in this list so you need to put your Twitter username in here and also your Pinterest username as well um, and then you need to add your Facebook page URL in here and then also a, a Facebook app ID and just adding the ID I think it just allows the um, it just allows more of the social media uh, Facebook graph to be installed when people are interacting with the buttons so add those two in as well and then you've got advanced features um, this enables a Gutenberg block so you can go into each blog post if you like and you can add a an individual Gutenberg block uh, Gutenberg block for the social warfare plugin it will show the icons wherever you put that block on your uh, blog post um, and then the frame buster if you want to stop content pirates from framing your content you turn that on and basically what that means is um, people like they basically steal your content from your website and they copy it over to their own website um, and they, they place the, your content in a frame on their website so if you put that on it prevents people from doing that so um, select that um, and then this one is only for people who have a theme that doesn't use excerpts so if, if your blog uh, lists the blog posts in the full blog post and it doesn't use excerpts then you want to turn this on so once you've done all the settings go over to save changes and then let's take a look at our website so I've not selected it to be on the home page so you can see that it's not visible at the moment but when we go into one of the blog posts you'll be able to see there's the block there's the icons just here and we can see that once we start scrolling past the one at the top it slides in the floating one on the side which is where I selected it to be and then we get to the bottom of the blog post and we can see this one comes into display and then the sliding one just disappears again Um, so that's it, you can go into the settings and change those around if you like, um, really depends on how you want them to be displayed on your site. And that is it for this video, um, in the next video I will be showing you how to add a contact form to your contact page, so at the moment it's completely blank, and I'll show you how to add the contact form in the next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.